Hey guys, this is Sir Tap Tap, and we're going to play Pixel Escape. The creator of this game informed me that all of five people have finished it, so that that bodes well. Uh, brief aside, what is the deal with these League of Angels and other male gamers only ads and stuff that are like, you know, the, the entire ad is just some anime person's cleavage? And they're all over YouTube now. Is there some sensitive ad category I can disable to make those disappear? Like, I can't manually choose which ads show up, but if possible, I would love to disable those things without disabling gaming ads. That is listed as a sensitive category, but I figure game ads are probably a lot more relevant than most things. Oh well. Um, let's check out how to play. Jump. Save, draw. Okay. Yeah, I was told you need a mouse. So. Obvious Lucas Arts um, parody there. No glitches! Let's give this guy a smoke. Yeah. Good smoke break for the moon there. The little dudes! Then the green dude was like, exclamation point! And the other guys were like, question mark? And he's like, look, a rock. Oh, shit. And they're all like, exclamation point, and they jump off a cliff. And died. Or not. Alright. So we're little pixel dudes, and we're running from a wall of glitches, and the moon is smoking. He's, he's gonna hack up a lung at some point over there. I didn't need to click that at all. Alright. How do I... Oh. Space jump. Alright. That's alright. Why is yellow or blue behind? Damn it, blue! We talked about this! Your butt over here. Oh, goodness. Oh, that's good. Okay. Pixel perfect. Oh, get it? Because... Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Blue! 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 Go, go! Come on, blue. I believe in you. Alright. How do I... What? I don't have stuff to... Oh, there's ink. Okay. We saved a pixel. Okay. Whoa. Whew. I got a little hairy there. As hairy as things that are like four pixels tall can get anyway. Avoid spikes! Pixel! No pixel! Oh. Oops. That... Way to not properly choose your... Um... Quote thingy. Death quote. Should have said something about spikes. So I'm sure I will die to more spikes. No! Red and blue! Come on! Red and blue, no! Red and blue! What did you do? Ah. Alright. The, 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 the mouse thing is gonna be the death of me. Oh crap. Oh crap. No! We're definitely not going to try to be pixel perfect over here. I was good at Kirby's canvas curse. Aww. Poor little dudes. Oh. What? No, good. keep going, you idiots! Oh, whoa. Oh. Hmm. Ah. Ah. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. And I'm not sure what just happened there, but I'll take it. No, we missed a dude. Dude, I'm sorry. I like the short levels. That makes it much less frustrating. I wonder if there's like level, there must be level select, but I'm not gonna go check it out yet. Soylent Green is pixels! Ah. Alright. It's a smiley face! Hooray. Let's let the moon take a smoke here. He needs to feed his addiction. Oh god. That was completely unnecessary. Oh god, green, no! Green, red, blue! I think green actually didn't die. Oh well. Okay. Just do a calm... Oh, we missed a guy already. 
I think you can complete most of these just using the uh, jump, but it's just, you know, the pencil's more for safety. At least so far, that may change later. Yeah, it's sort of weird to use both in tandem. I'm sure you get used to it, of course, but it looks like the pixels you need to get are usually on the high road. Surprisingly. Is the moon like can we use him as like a progress meter? Like are we halfway through the level? That would actually make this a pretty long level by the other standards. Right, maybe he's always halfway? I don't know. I'm just guessing. Let's ignore the wall of corpses. Your face jumps like a cow! What do you think of that? Yeah, oh god. Would a cow do that, huh? Would a cow do that? A cow would probably do that, honestly. Cows are pretty dumb. Okay. Alright. Right here. Blue! Whatever. I never liked Blue anyway. He was a jerk. He, like, frickin'... He chewed on his pens, okay? That's what Blue did. Oh, oh. There's a new Blue. Well... The, uh, the old Blue chewed on his pens. The new one. Okay, definitely hard to get all of them, but this isn't quite as hard as I was expecting. As it says 20% harder. Okay, hold on. Let's try to get at least one pixel here. I guess you probably need your pencilness to uh, get the secret dudes. Oh god, they're out of sync. Okay. Do they all jump at the same I think they all jump at the same point, like... Instead of all jumping when I press it, they all jump when the leader jumps, which is actually a really good design decision. Because that means they're not like out of sync and weirdness. I hope I don't lose progress here. Alright. Wow, we're almost... Well, not quite halfway. Alright. Definitely gotta get over halfway since we're already here. Give the moon a smoke. Man, just look at that guy go. Just freaking, you know, lungs are a thing that you need. I mean, they would be a thing that you need if you weren't, you know, an orbiting body of rock. Aww. Why don't you stay steady, you stupid message? That's my question to you. I'm not quite getting why some of them sort of fall behind a little bit. It makes it hard to keep them all caught up. It's like, there's always one that sort of struggles. Holding right starting to hurt my hand. Woo! Probably don't need to hold it as hard as I am, but ah, Crap. Rest in peace, little dudes. Oh well. Yep. Rest in peace. Oh wait, you win again, gravity was the name of the level, not like a you lose quote. I see. Well now I'm expecting you lo you lose quotes and I don't get them. Now I'm sad. Not really. Aww. Though I do like unique death messages and stuff. Like I really like that in uh, Unreal Tournament um, 99. Oops. It had different messages for every kill instead of, you know, just a kill icon, which is what, you know, <laughs> what all the games do now. Ah! Don't die. Alright, you didn't die. Good job. Good job, Arena. Ah! No! Jump! Ah! It's like Kirby's Canvas mode, or Kirby's Canvas Scare Super Hard mode. It's a really good game, by the way. Whoa. The only reason I'm not upset that Kirby games are really often gimmick things is they actually do them really well. Like, um, Kirby's Canvas Curse was probably my favorite of those. Um, Air Ride, pretty good. Um, great music in Air Ride. I didn't play Air Ride much, 
I don't actually have a copy, but a friend of mine I played it with um, for a little bit. Um, what else is there? There's Kirby's the Avalanche, but that's really just Puyo Puyo for the US. Also known as Robotnik's Bean Machine on uh, Genesis. You can like intentionally make them go out of sync by making them jump weird. Whee! What other quote-unquote gimmick Kirby's are good? Um, I liked Mass Attack. I guess some people didn't like it as much. I really liked it, though. It was interesting to see a legitimately difficult Kirby game. What else was it? Aww. Oh, well. Could do with a bit more um, difference in... Um, not level design, like visual design in each level, like environments. The level design seems fine. Whew. Ooh, that was pretty close. I kind of like the wave of glitches, but more glitches would be appreciated too. Oh, now you have to use ink. Okay. I wondered if at some point it would be impossible to not use ink, like for regular bits of levels. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, limited ink. Where did green go? Oh. Green, don't do that to me. Damn it. You know I worry about you. You a stupid one, green. Even though blue chews on pencils and pens, you... I just don't know about you, green. You just don't seem to have that... Oh god. Oh god. Fuck. You just don't seem to have that oh god fuck that everyone else does. Yeah, this may be why only five people have beaten out it as of, like, a few minutes ago. Like, he asked me on Twitter to play the game, um, and I'm totally cool with that, by the way. If you've made a game, um, definitely feel free to ask. I... oh. That was very lucky. Um... Oh. That's one sort of annoying thing about the design is that... An, um, in certain situations, your buffer of little dudes don't actually help, because they all, you know, they're in pretty close proximity. So, like, as we just saw there, you can all die at once. I say, as I all die at once. Hmm. We're gonna beat this one level, and then we're gonna take a look at the level after it, and if it's super hard to, I might rage quit on it. Just an advanced warning. But yeah, I read all requests for games, um, and I consider all of them. Um, definitely big help if you're the developer of the year. Um, especially if you could tell me, like, basically what I want to know about your game is can I play it for 15 minutes, like, from the very start, live on camera, and, you know, have it be entertaining and show off the game decently well. like. There are two things, like, I usually do that 15 minute thing, and I really don't want to get into a game and find out, oh, this is going to be really boring. Um, I understand that not all games show that well in that format, but I just want to be able to give the game a fair shake and have it be entertaining, so there's sort of two sides to that. Ouch. And this game shows well in, you know, the 15 minute thing. Lots of Flash games do, because they're meant to be... meant to kill you instantly. Meant to, um... You know, be played in short bursts. So... And or they ramp up quickly. Because, you know, the thing with Flash games is... People can f literally find hundreds of other games on the same website they're finding your Flash game from, for the most part. So, you really gotta capture people's attention quick, or they're just gonna piss off. Because they can find something that grabs their attention better really easily. Ah. So, I think that's part of why generally they work pretty well and why I like to show them in this format of, you know, just 15 minute quick peek. I'm almost coming up on 15 minutes, by the way. Um, not that 15 minutes is any sort of hard limit or anything. But I just really like to be able to show it pretty quickly and as a 
like genre of game like they're not it's not a specific genre or anything but as a medium to get your game out there if you're on a flash website you really need to be able to stand out pretty quick and show gamers either okay this game's for you this game's not for you and it's important to be able to show this game isn't for you early on too like because otherwise you just get frustrated people like, if I found out something was, like, gonna be super slow and dragging on, but I only found that out, like, 20 minutes into the game, you wasted 20 minutes of my time, and that's annoying. That's why I like games that are super hard. I don't necessarily mind that. It's just, I kinda wanna know that... Oh, wow. That was close. I just kinda wanna know that in advance so I don't waste my time. So that's why it's pretty important to communicate what you're doing pretty quickly with Flash games. Oh, god. And I mean games in general, like especially with if you have a demo, you really want your demo to show what your game does, what your game doesn't do, and why I would want and wouldn't want to play your game. How many levels do we got left? We're getting... Oh, we do have a fair amount left. Ah, whoa. Brain. Okay. All of the scrolling is making the still image look like it's scrolling to the right. That's disorienting. Alright. Back to normal. But yeah, that's... I've had that happen in a few games where I st stop playing, like, especially in anything auto-scrolly. I stop and look at a menu or something. Oh god. Maybe I'll stay close to the ground. And, uh... Yeah, it gives that sort of visual thing. Oh yeah, it was that, um... Crap. It was that little girl running from the wolf game. I really like that game. Um... I can't remember the name of it. It wasn't too long ago that I played it. Oh god. Sorry, Pixel Bro. Ah, there we go. I like this. This is this is a very good example of doing the 15 minute thing very well. I can already see, you know, what's in store for me for the rest of the game. I can see, is this game going to be too hard? Um... It's gonna be too easy, it's definitely not gonna be too easy, but I mean, it's a nice short burst so I don't feel like my time is being wasted. That's, um, I really don't like it when Flash games do the arcade thing, and oh, you died three times, I'm gonna kick you back to the first level! That's generally when I rage quit, because... Uh, it's just an artificial way to lengthen your game, and some people say, oh, but if you, you know, let me continue off from the last, you know, level, then the game will only be 10 minutes long. Well, if you only have 10 minutes a game, I might only want to play it for 10 minutes. Let me replay if I want to replay. Oh god. Can I... No. Um, but yeah, and the other thing is making people replay the easy parts just so they can get to the hard parts they die on. That's not really a challenge. That's just wasting your time. And this game doesn't really make you waste your time, you know? I'm getting stuck on the same points, for the most part, when I get stuck on a level. So I'm fine with that. I don't feel like this game is, you know, disrespecting my time. And that's... Respect for players' time is a big thing. Like, that sort of goes into what I was saying about Flash games earlier. Um, and it's also a big thing for mobile, and mobile games just really don't respect time well. Like, it's basically a whole industry built on not respecting time well, because, you know... They want to make the game slow, so you buy microtransactions to basically speed it up. Or to get rid of the annoying parts. And I'm just really not a big fan of that. Like, I will rarely complain about a game unless it just feels like it does not respect me or it was just made absolutely terribly. Like, a decent game that doesn't respect my time, to me that's worse than a game that is completely respectful, but just wasn't very good. Because, I mean, they're not all going to be amazing. But when you have this m deliberate, okay, I've got a game and it's alright, but I really want people to play my game longer, so I'm going to do some bullshit. That's not okay to me. Oh god, fuck. God, god, god. Hmm. Will this be the level I quit on? Well, I'm what, three-fourths of the way in? That's That's a pretty good run. I do like that they have a blind jump and you, you know, 
land perfectly safely. I don't like when games do blind jumps and you can never tell, is this blind jump going to lead to a secret or is it going to lead to death? And even worse is when death has consequences. Like in this game, it wouldn't be so bad if a jump, you know, led to death. Because, you know, I just restart. Whatever. But in games where you have limited lives, especially very limited lives, and you do that, then you're fuck. You know? You're fuck. That's what you're doing. Um, man, I just don't like that. Why does it randomly make the Mario coin sound effect? Is that just part of the music? It seems to happen when I die sometimes, but not all the time. Not that sound effect, but... Whoa. Can this one guy do it? Aww. See, he did do the blind thing that time, but... Not too bad since it's not that last... that hard of a level... or not that long of a level. Definitely a hard level. Okay, that's just part of the music. The coin. Alright. This is gonna be our last run. We're gonna go ahead and cut it off here. If we don't win this. If we do win, we'll take a quick peek with the next level, but... Ah, crap. Oh well. This has been... Um... Go back to the home. This has been Pixel Skate by Big Dino, and let's do the credits here. I like the little jumpy, pixely thingies. I read credits, that's who, jerk face. Created by Johnny and Eugene, music by P Pice. Special thanks to Lucas and Igor. Who's Pice? Is that a... I got links to their SoundCloud. That's neat. All right, that was a cute little game. A little difficult, but I was, you know, I knew that coming in. So yeah, that was fun.